Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a cheap laser more powerful. So I started with a cheap laser like this one you can get from the dollar store for a dollar. It's a flashlight and a little laser and it's not very impressive so in this video we're going to show you how to make it more powerful. So the first step is to take off the sticker. This will let you get the end cap off. Now unscrew the bottom and remove the batteries. Now, using a pair of wire clippers, I grabbed the bottom of the end cap and wheeled it off. And now you can pull out the circuit board and the laser module and all kinds of stuff. So I took off the end cap, and this brass part here is the laser diode. And here's the LED for the flashlight, and here's the switches and the circuit board and stuff. So the way this works is the positive charge from the three button batteries goes through the casing and to the uncovered wire in the LED because it's touching the casing. The negative charge just goes through a small spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this battery and connect it to the laser. So to do that we'll need to connect the negative terminal on the battery to the negative spring and the positive terminal on the battery to the wire on the LED that's not covered. So I'm going to take some wires with alligator clips and connect them to the 9 volt battery. And negative goes to spring and positive goes to wire and LED. First I'm going to bend it. There we go. Now I'm going to tape it to the 9 volt battery with some clear tape. Don't try to use the LED because the voltage from the 9 volt battery will basically melt it. There we go. As you can see, it's much brighter than it was before. Here's how bright it is compared to my 100 milliwatt green laser. It used to be this bright. Here's a quick chart on the brightnesses. Now, I've tried to burn stuff with this laser, but it won't work, but I'm still pretty satisfied with the result. However, be careful, because if you have it on for more than a few seconds at a time, it will damage the laser diode and it'll pretty much stop working. I've already broke two laser diodes this way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.